Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Mathematics Heuristics at Mavis once again. Today we're going to be talking about a very popular mathematics heuristics in school and this is equal fractions. All right, we have uh, simple equal fractions. Now, normally in schools, uh, teachers will teach students to draw models and cut up the units until they're equal. Uh, but today we're going to be doing something that is more effective um, and, and it is going to be really fast in solving. But one of the ways in which we can identify equal fractions, the simplest of it all is when, uh, for example, you have questions like half of A is equal to three quarter of B. All right, so it is a very direct kind of question. Uh, but then again, it could also branch out to something that is a little bit more difficult. For example, uh, A spent two-fifths of his money and B spent three-seventh of his money and he ended up having the same amount of money. So let's get into it and see how we can solve such questions very effectively. Let's take a look at our equal fractions type 1. In this question, we are given three variables, Andy, Ben, and Charlie. Now, after Andy spent one quarter of his money, Ben spent, now 60% could be converted into fraction, uh, that will be three-fifth of his money, and Charlie spent two-seventh of his money. All the three boys had the same amount of money left. Now, let's just use this information first. Now, Ali sp Andy spent one quarter of his money, Ben spent, again, 60% is three-fifths of his money, and Charlie spent two-seventh of his money. Now, however, what is left is what was, well, whatever is left is the one that is the same, not what was spent. So let's take a look at what is left. Now, if Andy spent one quarter of his money, he will be left with three quarter of his money. Ben, one whole minus three-fifth, and that will give you two-fifth, one whole minus two-seventh, and Charlie would have five-seventh left. Now, looking at what is left, because this is our focus, it says that all three boys had the same amount of money left. So this is where the focus is. So let's focus our attention on this particular set of fractions. Now, since they have the same amount of money left, all right, if we were to draw models, we will essentially cut the units to make them the same. We make these three units of uh, Andy equals to two units of Ben equals to five units of Charlie. No, but here there is a much more effective way in doing this. What we need to do is find the lowest common multiple of the numerators. Here we have three, two, and five. And the lowest common multiple of these three numbers is 30. So let's multiply them by the respective numbers. So three times 10, 30, two times 15, 30, and five times six will give us 30. Now naturally, since we multiply the numerator by such numbers, we will do the same to the denominator. Now when we do that, we will end up with 30 as the numerator. Now this means that they are exactly the same as the question has suggested here, same amount of money left. So instead of cutting units into 30 parts, all right, we have the numerators being the same. So the idea here is to make the numerator the same. Now what is interesting is that the denominator will actually tell us exactly how many units they have at first. Like in this case, Andy had 40 units at first, Ben 75, and Charlie 42. Now using this information, we are going to proceed with the next part of the question. Given that Ben and Charlie had 1,521 at first, now please note that Ben had 75 units and Charlie had 42 units at first. And since we are talking about the total, we will take 75 units plus 42 units, that gives us 117 units, which is now 1,521. So we get the one unit by taking 1, 5 to 1, divided by 117, that gives us 13. Now, how, did, how much did the three boys have at first? Now, having said that, the three boys is 40 units plus 75 units plus 42 units, and this will give us 157 units. Multiply by 13, and this would give you 2041. All right, that concludes our equal fraction type 1.